Good day, peeps. Hope everybody had a great Christmas. We're here in the garage. It's uh, the, the Tuesday after Christmas. We're here in the garage discussing uh, getting this band together. Um, thank God you guys came back to listen. Um, we'll be uh, going over the process. So I get, we're going to have a rehearsal on Thursday. Me, Jen, the drummer, Ralph, the bass player. And then... Um, we can also talk about other things besides music, but I'm going to be start labeling these videos as SAB 1, 2, and 3. So this would be number 3 since the video, um, since this is the starting a band video number 3. So we've got a good drummer, and we've got Ralph on bass, and we're going to have our first rehearsal on Thursday. If you guys are interested in, I don't like to play the rehearsals, because it makes tends to make new players nervous. So let, let's, you know, but I'll give you guys snippets and whatnot. Um, and, you know, part of finding, uh, putting a good band together is getting the right people with the right mindset, you know, towards a common goal of playing out and making people happy. Um, you know, so that's what these videos are going to be mostly about, um, playing together, personality differences um we're here in the bay area so today's been a wet day uh, they're not going to have um new year's day at bosco's out in sonol so we thought there would be a jam night there but that's not on so so you in the area here i try to keep you up to date on the uh, venues that are having music um but today's going to be just about letting you know we do have a bass player and a drummer we're still looking for a uh, secondary guitarist and then um, I'll try to make this video, these videos short somewhat because I know it's hard to sit through, a, you know, dialogue on boring stuff that, you know. But let me know. I want to know two things from y'all. Let me know what the first concert you saw was and what you thought about it, when, where, who. And then also I want to know what songs you guys would go out to see. If, you know, what song would you, uh, if you were going out to watch a band play, what are you hoping that band, what song are you hoping that band would play? And that'll help us out a little bit, you know, because uh, a lot of bands, from my perspective, will play things that they like, but it's not necessarily what the people want when you go see them. You don't want to have them staring at you like this for an hour without even nodding their head. So it's important to keep people happy, keep them dancing, that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to tend to want to stick towards songs from the seventies from my youth. I, when I was growing up and playing, you know, in a hard rock band, never played in the R and B that much. It was almost hard rock exclusively, but now I'm really digging that Motown sound and that, uh, the funk sounds from the seventies, come and get your love by Redbone. Um, uh, play that funky music, white boy, something I would have never played, you know, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. But now I'm really into it. Um, so I'm hoping that this new band, you know, will be covering a lot of that type of stuff. Doobie Brothers, things like that, too. Um, somebody asked me on here uh, or through a message what guitars I like to use. And that's a good, good, uh, a good question because now that I'm playing on stage and usually it's a four-hour bar gig, you want to have a guitar that's not going to kill your shoulder. So you're looking for something lightweight, but good and sturdy. Um, so what I did is I had uh, built a, I had bought a Strat, Fender Strat neck, authentic Fender Strat neck, and put it onto a really light Strat body. And um, why is it important? Because your shoulder will kill you for a week after you play a gig. Carlos Santana, if you see... Uh, recent videos of him when he's playing long gigs he'll put a thick lamb stint, lambskin padding on his strap and speaking of santana the guitar i was playing out with last year or two years ago before the pandemic was it two or three years ago already so paul reed smith uh this paul reed smith right here it's very light it's basic it's an se standard it's got the humbucking pickups um, it's got a two, uh, two toggle switch so you can get the combo of both of them on the bridge, the bridge pickup or the, um, neck pickup. So, and it's 
but it doesn't sound, the only qualm I have with it is I love the sound of a strap. Uh, this is light, but it will kill you after a three or four hour bar gig. I've got the uh, Squire strap to my left. And I use that uh, Squire strap because it's cheap. It's almost like a real strap. But when you can beat it up. You don't care if it gets falled over or stepped on or whatever during a gig. Somebody spills beer on it. Big deal. Um, but I do have a really nice strap for recording. Um, so, so as I've been playing out lately, you know, the thing is, is you take a $1,000 guitar out to play and, you know, um, they get tripped on or fallen over on, you know, kind of, it's like getting your first scratch in your new car. So it's a little hard to deal with. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you some of the other guitars. I think you guys saw the Squire Strat last week. Um, the Paul Reed Smith, I'm going to tend to use it um, once we get playing out regularly. And then... Um, Oh yeah, I wanted to ask all you guys. Uh, there's a video I did of some UFOs. Let me know what you think of that. The UFOs. Some guys said they could be Chinese lanterns, but the problem was um, with the video is I started it too late. They were in like a really weird formation, all lined up in like a slanted L. So uh, they changed after I pulled over and drove up the hill a little bit and started videotaping them. Then they started looking, they dispersed and they looked like they were floating. But let me know what you think they are. Some guy from UK says he's seen the same thing over there. The weird thing for me was watching them trail up into the stratosphere, like they followed each other up and out of the Earth's atmosphere. I should have took a longer video, but anyway. I'll try not to make these videos too long. Um... And if you have any questions or concerns, I'm going to also, you know, videotape doing other things. Um, you know, I got to do the tranny, uh, do a tranny flush on my transmission on my Jeep. So I might film that as well and post it here. I'm not sure. But let me know if you guys even want to see that. Careful of the scammers. They're out in force. It's right around the holidays, they pop their ugly heads and then, you know, almost got scammed on Christmas Day. You got to keep your keep on your toes. A lot of you already know that. So I'll cut this video short. Wishing you all a great day. Thursday we'll have a rehearsal. I'll let you visit with um, Jen and Ralph. We'll say hi to them. That kind of thing. Uh, I probably won't be able to post it till Friday. Maybe give you a snippet of a song we're doing. Um, but other than that, that's about it. Peace out. Have a great day. Actually, it's evening now. But uh, stay positive. Let's hope 2023 is a better year than the last few that have been around. So peace out, peep. Have a great evening.